what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got our first look at ghostface as you see here on your screen coming to us courtesy of greg russell i believe is his name uh instagram handle yo mixer y o o o mixer <laughs> Yeah, he shared these images of Ghostface yesterday along with the caption just talking about how him and his team of people have been working with the sound team of Scream just mixing together the film out of the uh, Formosa group, I believe. And I did some research on that. That's like some type of widely recognized leading force in like post-production audio. So they just come together, of course, and make sure the films that are coming out have the best sound possible, the best score possible to enhance the story that is unfolding on your screen when you're watching these movies that come out so this is a pretty cool image of ghostface here with this blue tint along with it so definitely am expecting to have top-notch cinematography and i like the callback to some of the previous entries with this blue tint i also like the way ghostface looks in this image uh i wish it would have been of course a full-fledged <laughs> image of the mask but this image is a nice shot of of ghostface some of you have zoomed in on it and you think it looks like he's using a phone in this scene he or she are using a phone in this scene so who knows and then this other image here we have because I'm, I'm gonna get back to another picture of ghostface he won't be gone for long <laughs> but this image here you see them working on the end credits notice the font very reminiscent of the font that you've seen in the original film not the font that was not even it wasn't even used in screen four they they kind of discarded that in screen four so the fact that they're going back to what was what was present in the original film along with the other two entries in that original trilogy that's very nice and it seems more and more like this film really is going to be something that is kind of just in a way a love letter to the original screen that Wes Craven directed and Kevin Williamson wrote and they released to the public that were amazingly shocked by it and how good it was back in 1996 so I feel like we could of course get the same thing with Scream 5 Scream 2022 whatever you want to call it so here's here's another image of everyone with Ghostface uh we see our two directors Matt and Tyler I believe is there as well one of the producers Chris Vallel I believe that's him in the front with the glasses honestly i i can't wait can't wait to see what else comes out about the film ghostface looks fantastic love the mask can't wait to hear roger l jackson's voice with these phone calls i'm really curious to see what what is done by this character in this new entry just because of the times that we're in we have so many things you have social media you have all these different things that i feel like could be used but I don't think they'll go all the way there because, you know, you can only go so far with social social media. I'm, I'm just I'm really curious to see how they'll justify, I guess, Ghostface not being caught other than us having to having to disband some of our disband and escape some aspects of reality. Because I feel like for some some of the stuff Ghostface does in today's world, I feel like he'll be caught like that. He or she again will be caught like that. So it'll be interesting to see the tactics that this character uses in this new entry to stay undetected. Similar with Screen 4, which they did a fine job with that, given how far advanced we are with smartphones and all these other things that we now have along with smartphones. So we'll see what happens and how Ghostface remains unknown and undetected and the stuff that goes into keeping that identity a secret up until the time it is intended to be revealed the other thing i want to talk about in going back to that hashtag hashtag for wes so hashtag for wes everyone has seen that hashtag we know how much wes craven meant to this franchise he directed all the previous last four films we know and we hope that he of course is somewhere very proud of what is going on however the hashtag for wes seems like that'll be a thing going forward and if we want to be speculative real quick i've seen this on reddit seen it on some other forms the atrl form as well speculation about the trailer coming out and again related to the hashtag for wes so the hashtag for wes obviously wes craven is a big deal and he's a He's something driving what's going on with Screen 5. Everyone wants it to be something that honors this man, something that lives up to 
the previous entries not to say that all the previous entries after the original were some of the best films ever made not saying that at all but they were still solid or good um and well directed because of Wes Craven his direction saves some of the weaker aspects that you'll find in this in these films let's just be honest there with that you'll you'll find some things that are redeemed by how they're directed some of the sequences that unfold um but getting back to my point Wes Craven has a birthday on August 2nd that's when his birthday would have been August 2nd is coming up really soon like I said before something is supposed to happen with Paramount out at that convention where they're going to be revealing their slate of films coming out and going over a whole lot of other stuff that they have planned which of course should include screen five however what if what we get there isn't related to the trailer or anything like that but some new footage like a first scene shown maybe even the opening scene is shown or a poster even and what happens on august 2nd is we will get our first teaser for screen five to honor wes craven and to celebrate his birthday i think that would be amazing it doesn't have to be the teaser it doesn't even have to be that it, it could be just a maybe not like the full-fledged teaser showing us things from the movie but a teaser telling us about or just going over the re recap of the previous entries and maybe have roger l jackson's voice going over doing a montage of something or yes we could get the full-fledged teaser or we could get a poster or we could get our first official stills for the film and again the hashtag for it will be hashtag for wes I think the biggest thing to do would be to release the trailer on his birthday. I really think that would be a smart thing to do. I I don't think releasing it on any other day would be a bad thing, but capitalizing on the fact that that would be this man's birthday and many people already will be honoring him on Twitter and social media. When I see stuff related to Wes Craven on Twitter, there's always something of importance that's going on, whether it be the anniversary of one of his films or an anniversary of the day he's unfortunately passed away there's always been something when i see him trending so i feel like having the trailer released on his birthday would be a phenomenal thing to do but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video